Hi everyone, this is Teslim, and this video is called How Figure Eights in Dance and Life Are Healing, The Healing Power of Figure Eights. So this is really fitting. I purposely did it today on January 8th because it's the 8th and we're talking about figure eights, but also because it's my niece's, my youngest niece's birthday today. And she loves dance and my oldest niece loves to dance and loves to do activities as well and they both do a lot of activities that incorporate figure eights and they don't even realize that they're doing them and they don't realize how much they are helping their health by doing them and i didn't realize this at all until recently until the past couple of years so i started dancing years ago had no idea about this concept and in the past couple of years, I had the privilege of taking a couple of courses with um, Dondi Dallin and Titania Dallin. They're amazing belly dancers and they are sisters and their mother, Donna Eden, is a pioneer in energy medicine. And their mom taught them. So Donna Eden taught her daughters about energy medicine and natural healing and especially this power of figure eights in health and turning around their health and um, they incorporated it in an online course about belly dance and Chinese medicine and that's where I fir first heard about this. I was amazed by this concept because basically the idea is that when we come into this world you know, as babies, we are fumbling to try to stand up, to try to coordinate our hands and our and our feet and our legs and to try to walk. And, um, and all of this is happening because we're not quite at the contralateral, which is a crossover system that we are meant to be at. So as we develop in a healthy development, we end up being contralateral, which is like a cross system. If you think of our double helix, the DNA, you know, it's it's swirling in this cross, crossing, that's, that's how we are meant to be. That's how our energies are supposed to be in order to co coordinate the left and right sides of our bodies and our brains. And that is what happens in a healthy development when we first start we're not quite there we're like a parallel it's it's called parallel system where it's um the energies are running up and down next to each other but you don't want that to continue you want that to cross over so that the body is working together and the thing is that we develop that way we we do start crossing over and that's what allows us to walk and to you know, stand and to lift things up and to go about our everyday life, we don't even realize we take all this for granted because it just happens naturally. But the problem is that when we're faced with different outside sources, toxins, uh, pollution, artificial light, stresses, um, there's so much out there that ends up, you know, like even um, technology and all those signals, they start actually taking us out of our contralateral, our cross system. And when that happens here and there, it's, it's normal. There's so much going on. And even they say that even if you put a, like a bag over your shoulder, like if you're holding a handbag or, um, or have something like, you know, heavy, that's making you a bit lopsided that can actually take you out of your your contralateral system temporarily or just in a small amount. But the thing is that if this goes on too long, like if there's so much pollution, so much stress, um, and your body gets overwhelmed with it, with it, you can go so out of contralateral that you're running so parallel and that system is not crossing over that you can actually fall out of balance. You can actually your coordination can feel like it's it's not happening, it's not working. If you get, you know, you can get depressed, you can um, lose focus, you can find it hard to like just 
get out of bed and do something and feel alive and energetic because your energy is being um, sucked away. It's being it's being put into this parallel system instead of the way that it should be in a movement, alive kind of feeling in the crossing over like in a double helix DNA system. So how this you know gets affected in terms of with dance and in our lives like how um what the the solution is like something that can really help this to bring us back into wholeness to bring us back into health to bring us back into the crossing over the contralateral system that we are meant to be in is to do movements that involve that crossing over especially figure eights so when i think about that like every dance that i've done involves figure eights and sometimes so explicitly that you know it's actually called ochos in tango for example ocho means eight because you're tracing a figure eight on the floor with your toe or your feet and it's such a big movement like it's such a um regular movement in tango and when i was dancing tango i was doing it all the time and one of my favorite dances was zook and uh it's still zook it's still happening but i might not be dancing it as much right now but um the one of the basic movements the lateral is a elongated figure eight it some people even refer to it as the infinity because it is that infinity sign it's a figure eight it's crossing over and i was doing that all the time and here i was thinking like how is it that i have this autoimmune condition and i was told that i would have a lot of trouble like functioning if i didn't take medication and all this stuff and i started going into dance really heavily even though i was having those problems and every time i went to dance and the more that i was dancing the better i felt i thought it was just an emotional thing i thought well it makes me feel good because i'm out and i love dancing and it gives me exercise and it you know allows me to socialize and meet friends and meet people that have this common interest but I didn't realize that actually there was something really even deeper underlying all of this. And that is that I was doing so many figure eights and I was helping what I'm sure was definitely like my body had turned into a parallel system. But I was in doing all those figure eights, I was bringing it back to wholeness. I was doing the crossing over so much in my body i was reminding it how to coordinate the left and right sides of of my body of my brain and what i didn't know was that actually over the past few years there's actually scientific um evidence and you know um studies being done out there about how figure eights in movements in activities whether it's dance or whether it's you know there's so many activities where we're crossing over like fitness activities but also it doesn't have to just be with your body they say that you can be doing it like they they so i heard from donna eden and her daughters Dondi and titania that there's um something called energy kinesiology and they are even testing out how um, they say that even if kids who have like autism or lack of focus and if they start doodling like just drawing figure eights can actually re um i don't want to say rewire but remind your body and your mind how to do the crossing over and that brings that connection back to you when it's lost and the more you do it, the more you reconnect and the healthier you get. And I know it sounds so simple, but it's amazing what I've heard and what I've actually experienced in myself. I've heard from Donna Eden and her students and the people that she practiced on, how much this has really helped them in terms of their, um, like if they have a certain illness or if they've had coordination issues or if they've had depression and they've been 
you know, lacking focus, they start doing this. She's actually used this on her daughter, one of her daughters who was really sick in the hospital. And Donna started doing figure eights um, to help her daughter heal. And the healing turned out to be like, the doctors are kind of amazed by this. And um, I myself have been using it. I didn't realize I was using it when I was dancing. And the funny thing is, is that when I stopped dancing because I was having more trouble with my legs, I was um, feeling more weak. I thought I had to stop dancing and I pulled myself away from dancing because I was kind of worried that especially if it's partner dance, I don't want to be leaning too much on my partner. And I felt a bit like I did feel uncoordinated. I felt kind of like this is going to be awkward and, and, um, I, I just didn't think I could do it anymore because that was kind of like the mainstream thinking like, oh, I guess you can't do these activities now because of this weakness or because of this illness. What I didn't realize was actually, it's not that I should have pulled myself away from dance. I should be doing more of it. And not just dancing, I should especially be doing a lot of figure eights, ochos, laterals, you know, shoulder rolls in salsa, like doing shimmies, doing um, belly dance, like there's so many figure eights with hips, with um, head, with like knees, with feet, everything with um, in our bodies doing figure eights in belly dance. And I realized that all of these dances incorporate this and it's a fun way to incorporate healing and wholeness and and like reminding the body to stay in that um, contralateral system through dance like and the thing is that like I said whether you are a dancer or not there's probably activities that you are doing that incorporate this figure eight even if it's something to do with fitness, even if it's um, skiing or something that crosses over, like uh, makes your feet, your legs, your body cross over and use the, both sides in that way. And like I said, even drawing can change that. So it is something that um, Donna uses with her clients who are not even dancers necessarily. Like she doesn't necessarily make them do dance moves but she teaches them how to draw figure eights around them, like with their hands, with their energy, because it's an energy thing. It's like bringing your energy back to that contralateral system. Also, like moving in figure eights, even if you're not a dancer, it's amazing to our health and our wellness. And, and um, but if you're a dancer, this is like a no-brainer it just literally happens all the time and so i just wanted to share this with you because i've been amazed at the results i have put doing figure eights on my plan for dance for 2022 i wanted to explain why and this is exactly why and it has brought so much awareness to me and so much um, gratitude for like not even realizing the power of certain movements to bring wholeness, to bring coordination, to bring balance into our lives. I wanted you to just, I wanted to share this with you. Next time you go out dancing, think about, appreciate all the figure eights that you're doing. Keep doing them. I'm going to keep doing them. Thank you all for listening and I will see you all soon.